last but not least uh, welcoming a uh, bull uh, Detmer in, in South Africa. Um, uh, it's really a privilege, Bill, to have you here, and I'm sure everybody around this table will agree that we're very privileged uh, to, to be able to learn firsthand from a gentleman that wrote many books on the topic and related topics, uh, and from that perspective, it's really important. Okay, I just want to create the context how we how we got here. Uh, through our uh, TOC endeavors, we uh, managed to work with a lot of people, especially in the last three years. Uh, and late last year, we also got involved, or we got to know uh, Philip Maris from Maris Consulting. Uh, and me and Andre had the privilege to sit with Bill, do this training course while overlooking the Eiffel Tower from the 27th floor or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was, a, that was a great privilege. And, and we realized probably after the first day that we cannot be the only guys that have this kind of exposure we got to get more people exposed. And even during the training, uh, during that week, we said, but we need to find a way to do it in South Africa. So this, this training course here is, is arranged in collaboration with Philip Maris Consulting, obviously with Bill, and obviously with you guys supporting us. We do believe that you will leave here after next week, Thursday, with, with an agreement that it was worth your effort, was worth the the student syndrome of reading the last two, para, uh, two chapters probably last night, or maybe you'll read it tonight or on the weekend, I'm not sure, but uh, you, you decide for yourself. So over, over to you, Bob. Thank and you. And welcome again in South Africa. Thank you very much, Johan. I appreciate your hospitality. Thank you. Thank you. And I especially appreciate your willingness to come to this course, especially those of you who traveled a long way to be here. Uh, it's. Uh, I think I can promise you an intellectually challenging experience. Uh, we, we're going to start this week with two days and then break for the weekend and then four days next week. That's not usually the way I do this. Normally I do a three and three with a weekend in between. Uh, the, the course is designed uh, to be a workshop and the whole idea here is to give you tactile experience actually constructing the trees and applying what you learn in the direct presentation and the discussions of the logic. But to learn that on a problem or an issue or a system with which you are intimately familiar and more important, an issue or a system that is of vital importance to you. In doing that, you are likely to be more motivated to try to solve a problem than you would be if you were just handed a problem. Now, typically what will happen as we go through each of the tools, and there are five logic trees, as we go through each one, in most cases, we will have uh, a, before you start into working on your actual tree, we will do an exercise that in most cases is going to be a group, sometimes it may be uh, individuals or pairs or something like that. Your understanding of the logical rules and how to build the trees will be superficial until you get through that contrived exercise. It is not until you start working on your own problem and putting your own real world knowledge and information into it that you will really deepen and understand the logical connections. My biggest concern is that I am able to spend adequate time with each of you working on your own individual trees because it's only in that scrutiny process that you begin to see where uh, maybe your first efforts needed to be tightened up a little bit. So one of, my, one of my functions in orchestrating this whole thing is going to be going around to the different groups and prodding you all along because even with two there will be a tendency to do some uh, discussing rather than actual working and that's okay. A certain amount of that is alright because you have to discuss issues in order to get the entities together and put, put up on the wall. Uh, now having said that, I will also tell you that a lot of the learning experience takes place in what I refer to as war stories. 
And a war story, as I define it, is a real world experience that I have been through with some client or somebody at some point where there is a lesson that I can convey because I either screwed up really badly or they screwed up really badly or learned something from going through a process. So I will tell you a lot of stories in the course of this, this next six days. Uh, a lot of stories that will, uh, I hope, bring the lessons of the methodology home to you. Somebody once asked me, why don't you do this online? You could reach a lot more people. You just cannot scrutinize trees 8,000 miles away on screen. It just doesn't work. There is no substitute for being there face to face, discussing things face to face. I have not figured out a way around that yet. So that's another reason why we're doing this, what I call the old fashioned way. Uh,